Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss on the topic of data collection to troubleshoot the heap corruption issues. To troubleshoot this issue, we will be using two tools. One is the application verifier and another is the debug diagnostic tool. So both these tools can be downloaded from the location which is mentioned in the PPT. Now let's see a demo how we need to set up the collection rule to troubleshoot the heap corruption issues. First, we have to configure the application verifier. For that, I just need to open the application verifier. Once it is open, we need to add the image, which is our application pool, which is the w3wp.exe. To add this, we have to go to the file, add application, and we have to go to the directory, C drive, Windows, System32, INetaSRV, w3wp.exe. If your application pool is running under 32-bit mode, then we need to select C drive, Windows, SysPaw64, INetaSRV. Then we have to select the w3wp.exe. So this step only if our application pool is running under 32-bit mode. So once we have created, open the image file, these are the tests and we have to make sure the heap option is checked under the basic. This is very important step to capture the heap corruption dumps. So once you configure this one, click on save and then exit this one. The very next step is we need to do an IS reset so that this application verifier configuration will be injected into your process whenever it is launched. Now we will use the debug diag rule to create a to create the terms. We will just open the debug diag and we will add a crash rule. We click on next. Here you have to specify a specific process. In the next you have to type w3wp.exe next now the application verifier whenever it will detect a heap corruption it will throw an exception now we will use the debug tag to capture that particular exception so we click on exceptions we add exception we select the breakpoint exception in the action type we select the full user dump Action limit, we can specify any numbers, how many times the dump will be co collected. So as of now, I'm selecting 5. Save and close. Next. So these are the path which you, where the dumps will be stored. You can change the path if required. Then activate the rule. So one, whenever the issue will resurface again, you will see this dump being generated and this count will get incremented. So that's how you collect the data for heap corruption issues using application verifier and debug tag 2 tool.